More on this historic day for New York and women as the first female governor to ever preside over the state is now in office. So, Jeff, let's bring in another trailblazer to talk with us about today, the many days, weeks, months to come. Syracuse Deputy Mayor Sharon Owens. Deputy Mayor Owens, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. This is an amazing uh, moment in the state's history. And how significant is this day with Kathy Hochul becoming the first woman to run New York State? Is, do you think too much is being made of that, or should that be expected at this point? Oh, it, it is absolutely a, a moment that we should celebrate. Uh, and, and yes, it is expected at this moment in time in our nation's history that women are uh, in a position. Um, diversity is being celebrated. Uh, accomplishments of individuals in our community and in our state and in our local government are being um, acknowledged. Uh, so this is an amazing time. Um, we, should, we should celebrate it. We should make a big, big, big deal out of it. Um, Sharon, go back a few years for me. What was it like when you took over as deputy mayor? What's it meant for you, for people you know, the city, beyond, just in, in general? Um, I, um, I celebrated, and then I took a big, big, deep breath because with the job comes a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, with the job for the governor will come a lot of responsibility, but... She's been gearing up and, and her work and her track record speaks for itself, preparing for this moment. I'm, I'm um, sitting in anticipation that that brilliant mind and that big heart of hers is going to work extremely hard and benefit the citizens of New York State. And Sharon, we are seeing finally governments become more diverse and Governor Hochul says that's going to be a big part of her administration. How important is that for governing? It's critically important. Um, the individuals that sit in offices like mine, the more of them understand the, 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 the very intimate um, uh, nature and, and cultural aspects, for example, language aspects, for example, um, of individuals uh, that they're responsible for serving, the more that we are reflective of those various nuances and diversity in our community, the better we can serve that community, the better we can understand the needs of that community, the better we can modify even our service delivery to meet those needs because there are so many nuances around um, what, what varying languages and how we communicate to our residents impact the way they live. And so that diversity um, is, is paramount to good governance. Um, Sharon, there's a, uh, there's a sports cliche I've heard many times before, going from assistant coach in basketball to head coach. Physically, you just slide over one chair, right, on the bench. But in reality, it's a gigantic shift. So going from lieutenant governor to governor for Kathy Hochul, um, you said you feel like she's ready and she's come out with immediate priorities. Um, does that, is she ready, uh, as, as ready as you expected for her to be on day one, 18 hours in? Yeah, I, I think so. I think we need to give the governor a minute to adjust to her new seat. Um, uh, it is more than just sliding into the next seat. It is absolutely um, putting yourself in a position where you have to understand all of the positions and the policies um, um, governing. She has been, a, was an amazing, um, in her role as lieutenant governor, taking on the, the, the different challenges and the different things that she was asked to take on as priority. Now all of it is her priority. And uh, I, I believe she's ready to go. Let's give her a moment to get her their head wrapped around everything. And uh, I just know that just interacting with her, she, she just loves the state. She loves uh, what she's doing. And, and this potential opportunity for her um, and sitting in this seat is, is paramount. It, I think she's going to do a wonderful job. And quickly, because we just have uh, about a minute left, uh, Sharon, how important is it that you know, she's an SU grad, she also started her career at the local level, uh, the significance yeah. of that for local governments? 
Um, I, I can I can tell you from the Syracuse perspective, um, uh, I'm a Syracuse graduate, and there's something about this city. If you go to school here, you become an adopted daughter or son, <laughs> and um, you can never shake this place. It becomes part of your blood. So I, um, without question, expect that she is going to continue with the ties here in this community. Her upstate ties are even another area. Um, so many times we, we feel like everything is really downstate driven. But here we have um, uh, a governor now who um, um, understands upstate New York and her Syracuse ties, um, just like for me, it, it becomes a part of your blood. It sure does. We've seen that. You have orange in your blood, don't you? So, uh, Deputy Mayor of City of Syracuse, Sharon Owens, thanks so much for, for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Yeah, we'd love to have you back. Thank mm -hmm. you, Sharon. Thank you for having me.